actually been sniffing around Max Crosby, according to reports, is actually the team they're playing tonight because Max is from Michigan. It's the Detroit Lions. And can you imagine him and Hutchinson? Wow. Be pretty unbelievable. Wow. Uh, we have a special guest on line seven, I see. Special guest. Uh, how's it going? Good morning. You're on the morning roast with Spadoni and Chasky. <laughs> Oh, baby. Look, oh, look, I've been there driving he is. around for the last hour. You know, I'm feeling good. I dropped my little mom off at her first day of preschool. She was excited, smiling ear to ear. I went to bed smiling from ear to ear because we got a guy named Stephen Curry playing for the Golden State Warriors. But then I turned on the roast this morning. I know I'm not there, and I miss you guys. Trust me. I wanted to be on today. But there's a lot of doom and gloom. And I get the skies. Oh, they're five and three. They've lost three in a row. Purdy's throwing turnovers, interceptions left and right. But they're five and three. The season's not over. And the tone I'm hearing being set this morning is that the season is over. Is over. Hey, buck up. Fuck up, baby. It's adversity. We embrace adversity here in the Bay Area. It's good to be all right here. But there are some worry points, right? There's a lot of warning signs going all over the place that I identified a couple weeks ago. But it's not doom and gloom, Shasky. Take a deep breath. My man's about to have a heart attack out there. What do they do well? Well, right now they don't do anything well. (laughs) (laughs) Let's be honest. Let's be honest here. Listen, listen, right now it doesn't look good. They were in that football game yesterday in the third quarter despite playing poorly. Listen, the missed tackles are alarming. Wilkes can't tackle for this defense, all right? That's number one. They had 22 missed tackles in the last two weeks coming into this game. I counted seven alone in the first half. Dre Greenlaw getting trucked by Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon took Dre Greenlaw so yesterday in the second quarter. He was not the same. The defensive front, I just heard you ask about the front. It's embarrassing right now what Nick Bosa's putting out there on tape. It starts with him, and it ends with him. You have to show up. He's not showing up right now, and he got the big bag. He needs to go back to Florida during a bye week, reevaluate his situation here in San Francisco, and say, you know what? Do I want to go to get the quarterback coming out of Jacksonville? Matter of fact, just send both of the Jacksonville for the bye week. Let him sit there for two weeks. Let him read the press clippings about Trevor Lawrence. Let him read everything about Travis Etienne. Just let him stay in Florida, and we'll beat you in Jacksonville. Maybe that's the best way to get the best out of him. I have no idea. Javon Hargrave. I haven't seen him in three weeks. Eric Armstead showed up yesterday. Great. But overall, this defense is not performing well. They have two cornerbacks. Kind of reminds me of the Giants, right? The Giants had two sturdy pitchers for most of the season. And then it ended with, a, uh, a, I guess, a, a, a pitcher and a half with Logan Webb and Alex Cobb. Well, right now, they have two corners. Maybe a corner and a half. And D'Amador Lenore and half of Traveris Ward. Isaiah Oliver is unplayable. Ambry Thomas is unplayable. They need corner depth in the worst way. And then let me get to Brock Purdy real quick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Brock Purdy. Look, we're going to ride this thing out with Brock Purdy throughout the year because I want to see what it looks like. I want to see if he's the quote-unquote real deal. I'm tired of going through the quarterback musical chairs. I'm tired of talking about this guy and that guy and this guy and that guy. Brock Purdy needs to step up. He needs to step up. But a lot of things that he's doing out there on the football field, it's very Jimmy G-esque. And before uh, we move on from Jimmy G, let's just look at Jimmy G's record from the first five games he showed up in San Francisco through 2019 and through that Super Bowl run. And then let's evaluate where Brock is at. Let's evaluate where Brock is at because a lot of things that he's doing right now reminds me of Jimmy Garoppolo. And you know what? That's all on Kyle Shanahan. He handpicked this guy. He gave up on the first-round pick after giving up heaven and earth for Trey Lance. And now that depth from those three picks is starting to show himself. Because outside of Brennan Ayuk, they don't have a receiver to throw to. That's embarrassing. For the 20th straight year, they don't have a third wide receiver. How? How? How does that happen in today's NFL? Man, he's a pretty good caller. He should be like a host or something at how a radio about, station. How about the real, real deal, Joe Burrow? Oh, well, let me say, last year I missed Patrick Mahomes. I was doing a Warriors game. I told NBC yesterday, I have to see Joe Burrow in person. I have to see what a franchise quarterback looks like. And let me tell you, Joe Burrow is the real deal. I mean, forget Josh Allen. Joe Burrow, 19 straight completions in the first half. He checked, I swear, in the second quarter. <laughs> it's a third and nine. This guy's under center. He checks. Everybody checks. He lines up the shotgun and runs a quarterback draw for 10 yards like it was nothing. He got out of town. He, like, both had him in his grasp a couple times. And Joe Burrow just spins out of it, makes a play with his arm, makes a play with his legs. And a Bengals fan was sitting right in front of me saying, Joey B's back. And I was like, yeah, you're right. He is back. All those early season struggles, 
they're gone. Joe Burrow is the real deal. That's what a franchise quarterback looks like. That's why we all were helping out Trey Lance. He looked the part, right? He had the arm. Well, we didn't see it. Whether or not he got a chance, that time is gone. Trey Lance has moved on. The Niners moved on. But Joe Burrow, oh, my Lord. I wish I had a quarterback like that. I've been begging for one like that for years. What about seeing Brock get hit the way he did and having his head hit the turf as hard as he did? Well, well, you know what, Shasky? Let's be real. He probably shouldn't have played yesterday. But this is Shanahan. When he, when Chris McCaffrey got all those snaps last week in Minnesota, Shanahan, look, hey, if he gets cleared, he if these players get cleared, he's not going to protect his players. So, anyway, you guys have a good Sorry, one. Bro. I'll see you guys in the morning. Yep. Let's not do him in gloom.